Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV. With, as is my wanted spot, a somewhat question-begging image. What on earth is that? The clever amongst you will go, oh, that's uh, for putting a baffle in with uh, those uh, removie clippy doos. Because today, yes, I'm at Alpine. Um, and this, well, this is the sort of review kit that, uh, well, I'd, I'd give a piece of myself to own. And just chopping a face off, I'll move that around better pan. Is Mr. Ashley Booth. Now, Ash... You've been on Talk Audio TV before with me, just shouting at you in a sound off. Yes. But this is our first clip with you actually at work. And, well, apart from, it's still my heart, how badly I want this rig. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about, um, obviously, this is just a straightforward comparator up here. The, uh, the kit on the top, that looks like a big old power supply. Well, yep. two power supplies, is it? Yeah, two power supplies, one for the head unit, and then because the amp's got quite a bit of grunt, we put yes. one specially just for the amplifier as well. You, you don't find any issues between the two power supplies? Rail voltage is changing and... and for, for the testing that we're doing, it, yeah. it, it's perfectly fine. Um, we would normally run it on a leisure battery, gotcha. but it's being used by OEM, so... Yes, <laughs> OEM, that's the original supply. equipment by manufacturer, that's the factory kit stuff. Um, now, of course, I've got something like this on me landing at home, but nothing as sexy as these. And that's a, a four-way switch comparator there with the uh, buttons on at the top. Yep, so obviously we can interact between any of the four. Just switch tabs. from one box to the other? Yeah. Wow. And are these separate enclosures within these two baffles? Yeah, they... yep. it's got two separate enclosures, top and bottom. Yes. Um, it's preliminary designed for when they're testing, again, the OEM yes. speakers. So obviously if they're running a 6 and a 5 or yeah. whatever size they're running because they're oh. not generic with gotcha, OEM. Gotcha, gotcha. So you can run collections of speakers in, in two complete sets? Yes, two... exactly. So you can, it's right. rather than being in the same enclosure like I've done here with the, the tweet in the mid for the aftermarket speakers, you could run them completely separate. And isolated. Now, apropos of these aftermarket speakers, tell us a little bit about what we've got in here. Because am I, am I right that the ones at the end here are the uh, good and better in the middle and best at the right hand side? Yeah, I mean they're, they're obviously for different purposes. Um, the first one, the Type E, is a direct replacement essentially. So um, they're custom fit speakers, is what they're called. Um, so they're designed for taking out the OEM uh -huh. speaker, replacing it with an Alpine speaker, yes. running it directly off the head unit. I, I fancy stealing a set of them from my mate's Berlingo. There's an awful lot of holes in there. Would they go in the Berlingo? Uh, almost certain. Uh, they, they'll go in pretty much anything. She's ever so cute. She's got three kids to bring up. They'll, they'll, they'll do the job perfect. So head unit missing. power, yeah, yeah. 40 watts RMS. So very efficient, I take it. Yeah, um, so depending obviously on what vehicle you're fitting in, will yeah, depend yeah. very much on the sound that you get out of them. Um, but they'll do the job for most people for just a direct replacement. But um, if you're um, if you've got sort of pretensions to well actually I want a bit more I'm going to get an amp yeah we get these ones in the middle here yeah these are the we upgrade to the Type G uh -huh. um, which is 80 watt RMS rated gotcha um, again this is the well, component that's, that's, that's proper amplifier um, isn't it? yeah it is it is yeah it's, that's, it's, uh, check out the mid bass bumping by my knees type. Yeah. yes um, it's it's a very good speaker it's what we we sell a lot of them because. Uh -huh. um, for an amped package sold by our dealers when they're selling them with a subwoofer and an amplifier all yes. together. Um, they're great price point, so yes. they sell well, um, but they also sound really good. They've got the phase plug in the middle for helping with the sound direction and to reduce phase distortion, just like on the Type R. Yes, the, um, that phase plug thing is one of those indicators of poshness. I'm going to get right on in there <laughs> for the viewers. Showing uh, off my let. Oh, God, Mr. Zeiss. Mr. Zeiss. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the mighty Zeiss was the name of the projector at the Planetarium in London. Um, I've got ten times. Anyway, um, I'm blithering about that because I'm going <laughs> close on in also on the uh, phase plug on the much more expensive product there. What are, yeah. what are those? They That's look... your Type R yes. um, component speaker set. Um, bigger tweeter. Um, it's just a higher quality set of speakers. So you're talking 110 watt RMS uh -huh. on these. Um, they are for the, the more audiophile of listener. Um, and obviously with the, the ribbed surround, it gives you a much higher excursion. So your bass is better out of the six inch yes. on this than say on the type g however it's down to personal taste at the end of the day with all of them um we can play them in here yes. and you can hear the sound difference between all of them but it is personal preference on also what will suit the vehicle cool. so, show us how this baffle thing works the review in my soul that, that one right by the expensive ones just so show me how they detach because they're essentially just, it's just the four clips and you're away. Oh, no, show me, show me. So, lift the baffle out, lift the... Oh, oh, show me its bottom. And, and we're out. <laughs> Thank you very much, so, dear boy. He's, he's that, that, that's an end point for me. That's uh, That really is, that completes my... No, thank you very, very much. That's absolutely no uh, just hardly jealous to my core at all there of uh, the lovely kit here used for testing speakers at Alpine Electronics UK. 
Thanks ever so much, Ash. No problem. Cheers.